the sun and the, the Holy Spirit. Um, good morning, everyone. It's good to see you again. I'm the priest who uh, takes longer, so just in case you haven't uh, been here. Uh, it's great to be with you. You sing so well. I just, I can't believe it. So it's so nice to see that. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray. Almighty and, and ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joy of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the 12 called together the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at the table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. 
Therefore, its value is for you who have faith. But for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce to the, the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my father. From now on, you do not know him and have you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say? Show us the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. When we drive around, we need to follow, we need to follow our signs, right? So one sign we really need to follow is one way. You have to follow all the signs. You know, stop's a good one too. But one way, signs are important. And what happens when you go down the wrong way on a one-way street? People start, you know, 
beeping at you. They're, they're like waving their hand. No, not this way. You can crash. You can get in trouble. You can get hurt. This is what I do, though, when I see people do that. Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> I never went down a one-way street. <laughs> I think to myself, how rude. Like, just stop it, you know? Has anyone in the church ever not gone down the one-way street? Exactly. <laughs> Jesus says today, I am the way and the truth and what? The life. doesn't say I am one of the ways. It says the way. Sometimes we think there's other ways that we can live without without Jesus, that we can try our own way. That's a good idea. I'm going to try my way. I'm going to earn my way to um, the Heavenly Father because I know the best way because it's me. No. We might try someone else's way. They look like it's going good for them. Seems easy. A friend might say, come over here. Let's try this way. I know the best way. Be careful of that. And then we may try to go down the wrong way. That Satan convinces us in a time of weakness that it'll be okay. Follow me. It'll be all right. When someone tells us there's another way besides um, Jesus, it's evil. That's, That's all there is to it. There's only one way. When we go down the wrong way, we expect... We can't expect Jesus to say, it's okay, go ahead. No parent here would do that. Allow their children without a lot of, you know, struggle to tell them not to go that way. He will not um, approve. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and I'm the life. And there's only one way. So when you're driving around out there and you see a one-way sign, does everybody know what that um, looks like, you know, a one-way sign? You know, I just happen to have one. Oh, my gosh, look. This guy's really, this, this, this guy's really tacky. I know he brings props to his homilies. Don't tell Father Forey he's my boss. One-way sign, in case you don't know what it looks like, okay? One-way sign, points this way, not towards Deacon. Deacon thinks it's for him. It's not. (laughs) He thinks it's him, right? No, Deacon, it's not you. It's Jesus, the altar. I love our deacons. I love to make fun of them, though. I don't know why. It's in me. I I did it at the 8 o'clock, too, and I felt bad afterwards. I love our deacons because they can read. I can't read, they can. <laughs> they do a lot of the wonderful things too. So, no, thank you. I threw him, I threw Deacon, um, um, uh, what, what's his name? Deacon Billy under the bus too. So, but no, Jesus, this is the only way right here. So how do we make, we make sure we're going the right way? Because sometimes we can get you know, lost, misdirected. Start out with a prayer every day before you get out of bed or roll out of bed, get on your knees. Some of us can't get on our knees or we won't get able to get back up. <laughs> so you might, you might want to be careful of that. But start with prayer immediately every day. 30 seconds. God, thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for for redeeming me. Help me get through this day. I need to see him up on um, the cross. That's me. 15 seconds. 
before you get out, why wouldn't we tap into that? Why wouldn't we tap into God? Father, you don't understand. I'm just too busy. 15 seconds while you're laying in bed? Now, I do forget sometimes. I do. Because, you know, I have a lot to do. Very important things. Apparently more than God. <laughs> so I do. I forget maybe, maybe five times maybe maybe five times a year or something but i really do try to do that second thing is what you're doing right now right now go to church every sunday if you think you don't need this every week you're out of your mind you're out of your mind you think you can do this on your own you know you can't i can't but we think that way sometimes i've you know, and thought that way before as a priest. I don't really need to go that week. I think I'm good. Yeah, you're not good when you think you're good. Every week, we need to tap into our Lord. Third thing, when we're going the wrong way, we would do what? We go to uh, confession because we need to turn around. Going down a long way street, what do you do? You don't keep on going, you turn around and you go back out. Same thing with you know, God. Yeah, so go. You go up behind a screen. You're out there in about two minutes or so or three minutes, you're done. You're going the right way now. If you do those basic things, prayer, Sunday, confession, then, as it says in the beginning of the uh, gospel today, do not let your hearts be troubled. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and unvisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. I look, I look forward, forward to the resurrection of the dead and life, life for the world to come. Let us offer our prayers to our heavenly Father. For the church, that we may faithfully follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life, obeying his command to love one another and thereby showing the world the way back to God. We pray to the Lord. The Lord our that all leaders may work to tear down structures that promote injustice, inequality, and poverty to the disadvantaged around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who minister to the church, particularly deacons, whose ministry is traced back to those who were chosen by the first apostles, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all those whose hearts are troubled, that their fears and anxieties may be relieved by the tender, loving care of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all EMTs, police, first responders, and military men and women who run towards danger to protect us and our communities and the families who take care of them, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all the special prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially for Kenneth Harner, who we remember in prayer at this holy mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear, dear uh, Heavenly Father, we humbly bring all of our prayers before you. We are confident that you hear all of them. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. O oh God, who by this wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover at, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the, the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of, of your glory as they acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, peace, I... <clears throat> I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Just a few announcements. Please check the bulletin for more information on these upcoming ap opportunities, Bible study information, school news, bus transportation for the ordination of uh, Kevin Key, and other upcoming opportunities. All high schoolers are invited to join us this Sunday at 5.30 for the Corporal Works of Mercy visit of the imprisoned. St. Patrick's School invites the school and parish community for an end of year celebration with music, DMC duo, food trucks, a bouncy house. Dunk, <laughs> you always have to have the bouncy house. <laughs> dunk, dunk tank and more next week, Friday, May 12th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Sounds a lot of fun. All are invited to attend a concert featuring MJM7 a Catholic family band on next Sunday, May 14th at 5.30 p.m. in the Parish Activity Center. The Medi's gifts of music, joy, and family life offer the boldness and innocence of youth with the wisdom and depth of lived experience. Attention families of children in the fourth grade and older, fourth grade and older, there will be an altar server training opportunity with Deacon Billy coming up on Tuesday, May 16th, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. If, if your child has received their first Eucharist, is in the fourth grade or older, and is interested in becoming an altar server, contact the parish office or visit the parish website to register for the training. And of course, I gotta say, it's always a pleasure having Father Mark, right? And if you don't know who, where Father Mark is, even though it just said about deacons. And um, I just love this, just, you, you know. We, I think we sign. all did, that's so my sign. I gotta use your prop. <laughs> and uh, before I made the last announcement, which is uh, please join us, uh, join us for coffee and donuts in the World Social Hall. <laughs> After mass, I guess you have to do it this way for this side, <laughs> hosted by the members of the parish staff. Have a great day. I just must say that you have two excellent uh, priests, I mean uh, deacons here too, <laughs> two excellent deacons. Uh, you see them up here do a lot, but there's behind the scenes things that they do. And I have experienced that uh, personally with uh, uh, both of them, so, so thank you for all that you do. That's enough of that, please stand. <laughs> um, let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our touch against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking to ruin the souls.